Hey YouTube, my name is John and you're watching AI Addict. Today, I'm at the Aptera headquarters where I was fortunate enough to get invited to a private reception for Aptera's new vehicle codenamed Gamma. In today's video, expect to see footage and updates of Gamma, a tour of their new factory, as well as a Q&A with the Aptera staff. If you're unfamiliar with the Aptera brand and the vehicle that they offer, feel free to click up here and we did a review video back in July that I feel like is a very good intro into what this company is where we reviewed Alpha and Beta. And today, we're gonna to be reviewing Gamma. The last time I was invited to Aptera's headquarters, I was given a tour of their Alpha prototype, which was built to symbolize the aerodynamic design and styling cues in mind. I then zipped around in their beta model, which may appear bare bones, but its purpose is to showcase and test the underlying engineering components that will ultimately be used on the production model. Now, Aptera is back again with their Gamma prototype, which means they are one step closer to production. When Aptera debuted the Gamma, we immediately noticed a few changes and some new features. Some minor changes were necessary to meet regulation. For example, the Aptera now includes a front headlight integrated into the front smile, which previously only depicted an LED strip. Additionally, Aptera added a rear light to illuminate the license plate for nighttime driving. Other changes we noticed on Gamma were an updated headrest, a new beautiful cup holder design, and they moved to the side mirror screen layout, so now it sits above a new yoke steering wheel. My new favorite reveal, however, is the AC and heater vents. Aptera unveiled their new design to blow air into the cabin through perforated holes along the perimeter of the main display. I really enjoyed the vast improvements and changes Aptera achieved while staying true to their original mission. They kept the aerodynamic design and two-seat layout unaltered while including a large seven-foot cargo area behind the driver's seat. The Aptera operates on a three-wheeled auto-cycle platform that is capable of 1,000 miles while incorporating solar panels that can charge the vehicle up to 40 miles a day by parking outside in the sun. Aptera told me at the event that they expect to have the Delta prototype completed before the end of 2022, with deliveries of the production models expected in 2023. Aptera currently plans to deliver the 400 range model first, followed by the 600 mile, 250 mile, and then 1000 mile range versions. If you wish to pre-order an Aptera today, feel free to use my referral code down in the description below, and it will include a $30 off your initial deposit. Thank you so much for tuning in. Feel free to like or subscribe, and we'll see you next time.